So first and foremost, let us give all praises and great glory and honor to our Elohim, to his only begotten son, Yahushua Hamashiach, to the spirit of truth, the Ruach HaKadosh, and of course, to the awakened brothers and sisters scattered to the four corners of the earth. Shalom, shalom, shalom. So today our reading is going to be from Psalm 83. And shout out to the ark. <laughs> the Most High put a message on my heart for the people. But first I wanted to proceed it with the Psalm 83. So you can chew on it, meditate on it, and really understand where I'm coming from before I actually even say anything more. I mean, pretty much is what my platform is with regards to. But I like to capture my people attention-wise and get your focus, right? Yeah, we know a lot's been going on in our community. Rest in peace to the sister who lost her life and condolences to her family. But there's a lot going on. And it's a lot of shaking. But brothers and sisters, hang in there. Right? Hang in there. Now, without further ado, let's get into Psalms 83. And just a quick disclaimer. I was not given the spirit of good pronunciation, so please bear with me. Okay? <laughs> Psalm 83. Keep not thou silence, O Elohim. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Elohim. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, and consulted against our hidden ones. They have said, Come, and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom, and the Ishmaelites of Moab, and the Hagarines, Gibal, and Ammon, and Amalek, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, Assur, also is joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot, Salah. Do unto them as unto the Midianites, as to Sisera, as to Jabin, at the brook of Kisan, which perished at Endor, they became as dung for the earth. Make their nobles like Oreb and like Zeb. Yea, all their princes as Zeba and as Zalmunna, who said, Let us take to ourselves the houses of Yahuwah in possession. O oh, my Elohim, make them like a wheel, as a stubble before the wind, as the fire burneth a wood, and as the flame setteth the mountains on fire. So persecute them with thy tempest, and make them afraid with thy storm. Fill their faces with shame, that they may seek thy name, O Elohim. Let them be confounded and troubled forever. Yea, let them be put to shame and perish, that men may know that thou, whose name alone is Yahuwah, art the most high over all the earth. So, brothers and sisters, meditate on it, chew on it, understand our Elohim is not going to leave us in this time. Call on him, seek him. We are servants and handmaidens to him. He is our master, and at this time we must exercise total and complete obedience. He did not give us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. With that, brothers and sisters, until the next time, shalom.